the Border Force Act threatens us with imprisonment if we tell the truth about what, what is happening to those our government imprisons. We will not be silent. If I'd played it by the book, I would have said nothing and watched these patients die. When doctors graduate, they are obliged to follow ethical principles that have been laid down in the Hippocratic Oath more than 2,500 years ago. The health of the individual patient is the supreme goal of what I have to do as a physician. And that is a direct response to what was debated at the Nuremberg Medical Trial. Patients' needs were being overridden all the time by Australian border force who were trying their best to keep all the refugees stuck on Nauru. And you were trying to get people off Nauru for their treatment. And the rights of the individual patients were forgotten. In paediatric medicine and in child protection, we would never discharge a baby to somewhere that wasn't safe. I always got the response back of it's being escalated and it's with the minister. If you have security guards coming into a hospital and forcibly removing a child, that is a moral step or a line that you cannot cross. I found that medically I was put in a position that I, increasingly I was not working for the benefit of the patient. I spent the whole time I was there trying to figure out whether we were the good guys or the bad guys because doctors and nurses are generally good people. I refuse to see another person die in Australian funded offshore detention. There is no form of this bill, Mr Speaker, no form of this bill that does not weaken our border protection. A clinically led process for medical transfer of those sick asylum seekers and their families must be put in place.